I love you, bruh. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bruh. Before Trevor Wallace would release a viral video poking fun at White Claw Hard Seltzer, only to have them serve him with a cease and desist order. White Claw Summer 2019, baby. Those glasses. Before Trevor Wallace would help popularize the Kyle meme across the entire internet. Body blows in front of the sequoia tree. 4.20 p.m. Or no. Before Trevor Wallace would have 610,000 followers on Twitter, 1.6 million followers on Instagram, 3.2 million subscribers on TikTok, and 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording. Now Trevor Wallace is an OG, the kid actually kicked off on Vine. He's an American comedian who spent most of his life living on the West Coast, but he can be seen just about everywhere else on the internet having amassed himself a digital thumbprint of over 1 billion views across all his social media channels. Two words. Entrepreneurship. Ty Lopez parks in my garage. Me, a drinking problem? It's called networking. Now Trevor is an original cast member of the popular YouTube channel, All Deaf Digital. He's also been featured on the likes of the Comedy Central, Buzzfeed, Funny or Die, World Star Hip Hop, and MTV. I also recently saw him at the Icebox store and that video blew up as well. Kid blows up everywhere. You know how hard it is to drive on ways, coked out? It's like a video game that you're always losing. He's become one of the most prolific stand-up acts of recent memory, and he regularly tours all across the U.S., performing at colleges and comedy clubs, including two sold-out nights at the prestigious Gramercy Theater in New York by the New York Comedy Festival. Now, not bad for a guy who once upon a time, well, he almost got fired from a radio internship after asking to take a picture with Wiz Khalifa. Can't blame him, I would have done the same. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it again with a brand new video, this time taking a look at the come up of Trevor Wallace prior to fame. Here for you of course on Before They're Famous. Now we reached out to Trevor to see if he'd be willing to collaborate with us on this video and he's such a cool guy that he got back to us right away. He also explained to me how to properly pronounce Illinois, so thanks for that. I didn't know the S was silent. All right, now let's get into this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Trevor Wallace was born on December 30th, 1992. No a lot of references, they cite his birthplace is out west in California, but according to Trevor himself, well, he was actually born in a place called Naperville, Illinois. Where did you grow up? So I grew up, I was originally born in Naperville, Illinois. Naperville, Illinois. But moved when I was two, not like on okay. my own, like with family. Now his mother was a freelance food journalist who along with his father once owned and operated their own food magazine. That's before his father eventually retired and sold the magazine. When he was still young, well Trevor and his family, they moved to Camarillo, California as his mom, well she was originally from Cali and she wanted to return home to the comfort of much nicer weather. Who can blame her? So his parents, they were pretty strict when he was just a kid, never letting Trevor own video games and always expected him to be home by curfew. He also wasn't allowed to eat cereal that contained more than six grams of sugar in it. So as you can imagine, whenever he would visit a friend's house, he'd binge out on as much of the good stuff as he could possibly get his hands on. Yeah, that's strict parenting. I guess they owned a food magazine. They knew what's actually in there. I don't know. Now Trevor, he also has an older sister that lives in the Bay Area and they weren't super close as kids, but Trevor describes the relationship as pretty typical. Now he would stay in Camarillo for his entire youth doing normal teenage things like skating and riding bikes. I guess he was a little bit of a Kyle. He also loves spending as much time as possible outdoors and as he explains in the following clip, well the only problem he had growing up, well they were your typical privileged white struggles. Here we go. Speaking of struggles, did you have any major struggles growing up? Like at all? Um, yeah, but they're like normal white struggles, you know? Like I have friends that are like, oh I grew up with, you know, I shared a room with like me and my three friends, through my three brothers and this and that. And like I lived a pretty normal, nice life. Like struggle for me was like I was a young kid in the group, okay. always hanging out. Yeah. So I was like the intern, if you may, yeah. of like the group. So I always got picked on, but I liked that. New Trevor was always trying to make people laugh and he took after his childhood idols like Robin Williams, Adam Sandler, Dave Chappelle, and Jim Carrey. So by the time he was attending Adolfo Camarillo High School, well, the older kids, they weren't teasing him as much, having finally co-signed him due to his sense of humor. Now as a teenager, he was working at a frozen yogurt place and he joined a paintball team so he could play division level tournaments. 
But despite finally fitting in and finding some newfound popularity at high school, well, Trevor, he still didn't enjoy class, preferring to smoke weed and eat Taco Bell rather than study. This is ridiculous, all right? All I'm saying is I just want my goddamn crunch wrap and my goddamn- I'm going to personally beat that ass if you don't get that blast. Every time. But things, they all changed the day he visited his sister at college. Like literally the reason I went to college, in my mind, this might be different than my mom's, but like, so I was a sophomore or a freshman and my sister was uh, a first year student at Cal Poly. You know, the university. Cal Poly, that's where Madeline went actually yeah. Oh yeah, in San Luis Obispo. Yeah, yeah, so I went yeah. up there to visit her for a week and when I was like, I'd be 16 or 17 and I went and just my jaw dropped like just so many babes like you saw <laughs> after seeing all the babes hanging around campus and the endless possibilities when it came to partying well Trevor he decided to work harder once he returned to school and he turned those C's into B's so that he could get into his preferred college after getting his grades into shape he accepted an offer to attend San Jose State University because it was a football school which meant that it would host some of the most epic parties now San Jose or I think that's how you say it it might be San Josie. Well, this place was the perfect stepping stone to allow him to go from Camarillo and then on to Los Angeles. Now, once he had started college, well, Trevor knew that he wanted to work somewhere in the entertainment industry. He just didn't know where exactly. Now, at school, he studied a whole bunch of different subjects, including radio, screenwriting, and television. And he also began performing his first stand-up around the same time at the age of 17. Now, that first show, he got a huge wave of laughter, and it made him feel like nothing else ever had before. Now it's a feeling that he's been chasing over and over again ever since. It was all like this. He's like, okay, Trevor, so your mother has a garage. <laughs> and Trevor, I, your father, have a limousine. social media platform Vine that really worked wonders for Trevor's dreams. Now while attending San Jose, he created his first Vine clips around 2013 and his popularity on campus, it immediately started to blow up. And that's when Vine started coming out and I started making a bunch of Vines and stuff and I got like a little bit of attention because like one of my vines did big and like people were treating me different on campus and I was like, bro, because they you, knew who you were. Yeah. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Now you want to talk to me? Really? Yeah. Now it sure helped out that as a member of the Delta Upsilon fraternity, well, Trevor, he had willing participants at his fingertips 24 seven to help him out in creating some content. Hey guys, she texted me. What'd she say? She said, hey. How many wives? Three. She wants it! And we also helped establish a comedy club while still in school, a place where like-minded comedians could get together and work on their material during open mic nights. Now, during his final year at SJSU, well, he took on a job working at a kiosk selling blinds for windows inside his local Costco. Now, he really didn't enjoy the job at all, but it enabled him to save up enough money to pursue his dreams out in LA. The following year after graduating, Will Trevor, he was on his way out to Los Angeles. Now, initially upon arriving in town, Will Trevor, he scored himself two unpaid internships, one at the Groundlings Comedy Club, the other at All Def Digital, a popular YouTube channel. Now he remembers his time at the Groundlings fondly, but he admits that he was basically a glorified servant while there. His internship at All Deaf, it was more fruitful because there he got the chance to work as a writer's assistant and he also worked in their social media department. And I got news that Snoop Dogg was coming in last week. You guys all know Snoop Dogg, right? You guys don't know who Snoop Dogg is? He's uh, just the black Willie Nelson. To keep pushing himself to achieve his goals, well, Trevor, he decided that once he was in LA, well, he wouldn't allow himself to drink or party unless he performed at least once that week during an open mic. By motivating himself in this way, well, he began performing steadily across the city five nights a week. Now, at the time, he was living in a pool house with no kitchen or bathroom and sleeping on an air mattress in Studio City, paying $400 a month in rent. Now he spent nine months living like this, and while it was understandably a difficult time in his life, well, he kept on creating more and more content. Eventually, one of his characters known as Bryson, the Zoomies employee, well, that one, it really blew up. Hey, skeet, skeet, bang, bang, what's up, dude? I'm Bryson, or as my friends call me, Bry, or as my dad calls me, son. What's up, dude? You guys need any help right now? No? Cool, what about in 10 seconds? I'll be here. What the f I can't swear here. And with that huge break, well, thanks to his back catalog of material, well, his other content, it began to see their numbers increase as well. Now, motivated by his successful Trevor, he continued plugging away at his own digital content, and he created sketches that have gone wildly viral, like this one on AirPods. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, who? Oh, you're still on the old AirPods. That's cute. Now, these are the pros. Pros? 
Nobody told me about the pros. Oh no, I'm broke again. And he's probably done as much for the popular Kyle meme as anyone on the internet. It smells like water in here, who's the virgin? In 2018, Trevor, he left all deaf digital to pursue working on his own content full time and it's going pretty damn well for him. He's got regular shows at venues such as San Jose Improv, the Zanny Comedy Club in Nashville, and Orpheum Theater out in Arizona. As for where Trevor goes from here, well he hopes to one day to build his own sketch show and to fill a stand-up special. And I think we're gonna have to uh, wrap up his story here because this is before they're famous. I don't know why I looked at my clock there. <laughs> I, I need some monster energy. It's Monday morning here and it's been one hell of a weekend. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up here. My name is Michael McCrudden. You guys know what to do. Let us know who's next in the comments down below. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Go and follow Trevor over on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere else. And I'll see you guys in another video.